what sense does it make to watch what you put in your body, to watch what you eat, but not pay attention to what you put in or on your vagina? If it's your first time here on my channel, thank you for joining me today. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and click the notifications bell so you don't miss one of my usually weekly videos. I have been menstruating for quite some time now, over 15 years, and I also have had a baby. I think especially because I struggle to have a kid, I've been really mindful of my reproductive health and part of that is you know, what goes inside of my vagina, including period care products. So I wanna share some of those recommendations with you and encourage you to make the switch over to organic and natural period care products because they have so many benefits. One for yourself, you actually know what you're putting on your body. You know what ingredients and what products are in your pads and your tampons. Um, if you use cups, they are incredibly sustainable they're really really affordable compared to most period care products because period care products are just expensive in general so if you switch to something like a menstrual cup it's basically like a one-time fee that you pay and then you can use it for I think up to like five years or so so tons of reasons to switch over to organic and or natural period care products and I'm gonna share a couple of my favorites with you so I mentioned a little bit earlier that I have had a child he's now a year and a half which is also crazy but that's the side so i do have a post baby vagina and my cycle has changed a little bit post baby and i'm no longer using hormonal birth control methods so that has changed my period a little bit as well so i'll talk about some of those changes and how that has kind of impacted how i approach that time of the month a little bit too so without further ado let us get into the video so the first thing that i want to share with you guys are cotton tampons the tampons that i really like to use are Lola. They come in a box, I think of like 18. These ones are the regular size. They come in light, they come in super, um, and they all just have different shades of blue. Love the branding, I feel like it's really sleek. So organic tampons were the very first thing that I did in terms of switching my period care products. The research isn't crystal clear, but there are different chemicals and pesticides that have been found in different tampon products that can enter your body and into your reproductive system and as someone who you know has always wanted to have a child and um, was fortunate to be able to have a child I have been very mindful of okay what can I do to make sure that my reproductive system is like in tip-top shape and so switching over to organic tampons was a really easy first step for me because they're really accessible they're, they're easy to find now I would first and foremost if you're thinking about making the switch start by using organic tampons and if you've never used a tampon before let me preach something really quick because i'm in my 30s every once in a while i talk to a friend who's like oh i've never used a tampon before and i'm just like sis how have you been existing in life and i understand that for people who grew up like me very religious and um, also grew up in, in some immigrant cultures tampon use you know might have been associated with promiscuity or you know loss of virginity which are very antiquated ideas but y'all it is 2021 please stick a tampon up your vagina and enjoy a much happier and much cleaner period, okay? I release you to go ahead and do that for yourself. <laughs> Speaking of other period care options, the next one I wanna share with you are menstrual cups. Now, I am a huge fan of menstrual cups. These have revolutionized the way that I experience my period every single month, and I swear there is something about menstrual cups that reduces my likelihood of cramping. I do feel like I have experienced fewer cramps ever since I switched over to menstrual cups. And so the first menstrual cup that I used, I think it was in 2015, and it was the Lunette cup. This is also a Lunette cup. This is the Model 2 cup. I also have the Lola cup. This is also the Model 2. They are slightly different. So I wanna talk about the differences between both of them, explain what a two is versus a one, and then also advise you on what cup you should try if you're trying out cups for the first time. Now, menstrual cups are medical grade silicone products that you insert into your vagina in order to catch the blood. There are a couple of different ways you can fold it. I use the C fold, so I go like that, and then like this, and then insert it, just like insert it, and then it, <laughs> it pops open. Before I had a baby, I was using Model 1. I think that one was orange. They come in a lot of different colors. Model 1 is for light to medium flows, and Model 2 is for medium to heavy flows. But for the Lunette Cup, I will say that the 2 is 
pretty different from the one it, it does feel a lot sturdier so when i first got it i was like yo this is mad stiff but having a thicker or stronger more sturdy cup was actually better for me and for my needs post baby so that's the lunette cup the only thing about the lunette cups is that the end of the cup is really really long so i've actually cut the bottom of the like the ridge part you squeeze here and then you pull and so this can be a little bit long depending on just like the shape and the depth of your cervix so then the lola cup is actually a lot more flexible than the lunette cup this just has a lot more give it's just a lot easier to squeeze the lola cup is actually really good for first time menstrual cup users because it's so flexible the downsides of being really flexible is that you know when you have your period and you cough and it's just like so I feel like the Lola cup, because it's so flexible, isn't as rigid in my vagina. And maybe I don't have strong enough vaginal muscles to like make sure it doesn't go in anywhere. But, and not that it actually has gotten dislodged when I've coughed or sneezed, but I'm not as confident when I wear the Lola versus when I wear my Lunette cup. Like this does not move. Another big difference is that the Lola cup has a rounded tip which is slightly more comfortable and it's a much shorter tip which if you are a first time user maybe might not actually be helpful because you might not be able to like reach it would really recommend the lola cup if you are a first time menstrual cup user if you want to have a variety of colors if your flow is heavy and you are active i think that the lunette cup is a bit better one more thing about the lola cup that i actually really like is that it comes with this carrying case that's really convenient actually. When I traveled to the US, I stored both of my cups inside this thing and just kind of squeezed it in. Nice. Before we get into the next product, I'm curious, have you ever used a menstrual cup before? If so, what were your thoughts? What was your experience? Drop it down below. Now another natural and organic period of care product that you should definitely try are the Honey Pot panty liners and they make all sorts of period care products pads tampons panty liners but it's black owned so that's a plus they do have like a slight tingle when you first wear them which takes a little bit of time getting used to it's like a tingling and cooling sensation some people hate it when i first put it on like oh my god like ooh. but then like three minutes later it feels very soothing and it does make me feel fresher which is you know pretty hard to accomplish when you're on your period but i would definitely try the honey pot panty liners and then if you really 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 want to be sustainable there is period underwear i have two pairs of period underwear from nyx i have their leak proof brief essentially their leak proof underwear has this like gusset and then this is the dream short and this is super leak proof so this is for medium to high flow days it has more absorbencies now these i really like wearing when i'm going to sleep i've become an evening shower and so I really like to wear these when I'm going to bed and just it helps me feel more confident when I'm like tossing and turning in bed that like nothing's gonna get anywhere I sometimes wear them alone on the last day of my period but I often wear them like with my menstrual cup to go to sleep these are also really good not only if you are on your period but say you're sweating a lot like you're going somewhere it's really hot and you don't want to have like sweat stains just wear period underwear and it'll like catch the sweat from your body and it just will make you feel fresher so i haven't tried any other period underwear but in general i think that period underwear is like one of the most brilliant innovations to hit period care because it combines two things that we already use we use underwear and then we use period products and it combines it. pregnancy is one of those weird things where it can really just like change your body in so many different ways the changes aren't ever the same for any two people i have a friend who got her period six weeks after she gave birth i will say that i got lucky and i didn't get my period until like about a year after he was born ever since i started having periods again which i feel like my cycle is slightly longer but like a half a day not too too long but that fifth day isn't as light as it used to be it used to be fifth day like i could get away with just a panty line it was just spotting but right now like it's like fifth day is a real that's a real bleeding day i haven't had periods as painful as i used to before i had a baby not the case for everyone again and so i haven't really had a chance to use these two pain management things that i'm going to share with you but if you don't want to take medication if you want you know don't want to kind of put excess things in your body lola makes a heating patch 
for cramps. And so it's basically just an adhesive backing and you just apply it on your lower abdomen. But it does heat up. That is one really great option. I was recently sent a product called the Jovi. This is actually like now pain relief. This is supposed to use some kind of technology to like actually address the pain from your cramp. I don't really understand how it works, but apparently it does work. It has a lot of different reviews. People say that it works. I just haven't had the chance to use it yet. All right, so that concludes my organic and natural period care video. I hope that you've enjoyed some of these recommendations and suggestions of the exact natural and organic period care products that I use on my body, on my vagina for my <laughs> menstrual cycle. And hopefully it gives you some suggestions for what you can use as well. Whether you're thinking of switching over to natural or organic menstrual care products for financial reasons or health reasons, or environmental reasons like there are definitely so many great reasons to make this switch it's been a cost saving switch for me also has been really really great for my health if you've liked this video definitely give it a thumbs up if you have a friend who you talk to about your cycle maybe that one friend whose cycle you're synced up with make sure that you share this video with them so that they can also get all the information that you just got so yeah thanks so much guys for watching this video and i will catch you in the next one bye